push that rock here with some cement. So I have a couple questions for us. This is on a direct application to the a real world direct application to the Lilliputian cyber security system. You know who those guys are, right? The Lilliputians. They're the little guys in um, Gulliver's Travels. The uh, uh, social criticism story by Jonathan Swift. Anyway, hopefully you've heard of the Little Fictions. They have a four letter alphabet. It does have an upper and lower case. It looks like this. There's the upper case. Then they have a lower case. There's the lower case. Then they have a binomial number system. Everybody knows this, right? Everybody knows this. Okay, all right. They have a one, and then they have a two. So that's their binary system. They don't have the Arabic numerals like we've got. Now the question is, how many four character passcodes with four distinct characters can you make? So if you're not gonna do any repetition. Or, then the second question, or maybe we'll do this one first, how many four character passcodes, passcodes allowing repetition? This is actually the easier question. Because if you're gonna allow repetition, then you look up here and you've got, well, eight letters and two numbers, so you have 10 choices to, for your first choice. And since you can do repetition, you have 10 choices here, and then you have 10 choices here, and then you have 10 choices here, and so it's 10 to the fourth. Now, <clears throat> we could um, answer it the same way. I'm gonna answer it another way, but we could answer this top question the same way. So let's do it up here, because it's, okay. So the, so the answer to this question is 10 to the fourth. So we have this same idea going on here. We could say, well, we have 10 choices here, okay? But we've just chosen one, and we're not allowing, we want all the characters to be different. So then we have nine choices, then we have eight choices, and then we have seven choices. And so whatever that product comes out to be. Uh, but I'm gonna answer another way. And we're gonna answer this question another way. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna first find the number of ways to choose the four characters we're going to uh, uh, select. And how do we do that? Well, that was the last video. How do I select four characters from 10? Well, the notation for that is this. This is the number of ways to, to select four characters from 10. And um, I just go to the 10th row, and then I get the fourth one. And you remember to start for, this is zero here. So the zero entry, first entry, second entry, third entry, fourth entry. So there's 210, zero, one, two, three, four. 210 ways to choose <clears throat> um, four characters from a set of 10. So, now that's how many ways to choose them, not to arrange them. So if I want to arrange them, I must multiply by this factorial. Okay, so now this becomes the number of ways to arrange four characters taken from a set of 10 characters. So um, four factorial is, you know, well, three factorial is three times two times one, so it's just six. So if I throw a one at four in here, that's just 24. So it's 210 times 24. So that's the four factorial there. So whatever 210 times 24 is, that gives us our product. So it's 5,040. So the other way to answer that is to say four factorial times the number of combinations of four things taken from 10. And it should give us this right here, which is 10 times nine is 90, okay? And eight times seven is I think 56. Um, and then if I go 90 times 56, I will get the 5,040. Now, when you're arranging things, they're called permutations. So let's go back to this other sheet of paper. So when I just had 10 choose four, there's 210 combinations or choices or selections. But there's 210 times four factorial number of, of this bottom number factorial, whatever it happens to be, in this case it's four factorial, um, number of permutations. 
so there's vocabulary words here, and those are arrangements. Okay, and so sometimes, and I, you know, it's not obvious. You have to think about it a little bit whether or not you're trying to count permutations or combinations. Let's do a very quick example. So, let's say we're we have ten uh, members in our club, and four win a prize. How many ways can we decide to give out the prize, <clears throat> the prizes? Well, if all the prizes are the same, if it's um, they all get a $100 prize, well, it, Amy doesn't mind if her name gets called first or last. Either way, she gets $100. So that's 10 choose 4. So there's 210 ways to give out $100 prizes, okay? Okay, but what if um, they're getting $100 or $50 and then third, there's a third reward of $25 and then finally the last person just gets a meal, $10, okay? Oh, well then, you know, Amy would much prefer to go first and get the 100 than to be last and only get the $10. So in that case, it would be 10 choose 4 because it matters whether or not Amy is first, second, third, or fourth. 10 choose 4 times 4 factorial, which is the 5,040. So here you had needed permutations to answer the question, and here you needed combinations to answer the question. Math made simple. Simpson math.